Hello everybody and welcome to another pomade review. The pomade that we're going to be looking at today is Murray's Black Beeswax. Now there is another version of the Murray's Beeswax which is a yellow color which is the classic Murray's Beeswax which is very similar to this pomade but this one does perform a little bit differently. So first off it is black and on the inside is a black color and the scent is gonna be completely honest smells like crayons uh, <laughs> uh, this pomade usually does get quite a bit of flack because it smells like crayons and the other version the one that's not black does not smell as cranny but uh, this one it doesn't smell too great but the scent is fairly muted so any topper that you put on is going to take over the scent so it really this scent's not a big issue so anyway I will show you how it scoops scoops out a little bit greasy um, a little bit more pressure to it but nothing crazy it is medium so scoops out like a medium and as you see when you spread it into your hands the black texture just gets everywhere which if you have dark hair like me it's not an issue and it also is convenient because when a pomade is black like this then you don't have bits and pieces that don't get emulsified through or perhaps when you build up with it there aren't little specks that stick out whereas when you have a white pomade that you put into your hair and then it builds up and you'll get all these white specks in there it's very noticeable and it looks like dandruff but you don't have that problem with this one so like I said about the scent it is smelling like crayons but it is fairly muted so probably after this video I'm gonna put a topper on because by itself it is not it does not smell great but I do enjoy the shine and the performance of this pomade so I can get past the scent so as you can see it has a pretty pretty good shine for a medium um, the way that that shine gets on there you know because there are some more dull mediums that don't have that great of shine but this is quite good actually and this one I do feel has just a bit more hold than the classic Murray's beeswax which is the one that's yellow so the more beeswaxy color and although it it, it does say that it's uh, beeswax it actually is petroleum based and just has beeswax in it so it's not actually just pure beeswax it's petroleum based now I had to order mine online but I know they are fairly easy to find places just because it's a Murray's product Now I'm going to do my part. Alright. So you see it's very sticky. There's one thing, it is quite the sticky pomade. Now I had none of it in my hair, it was all clean. And nothing in it, but as you can see I'm getting great shape for the very first go through on it. So, and that is another thing, I do feel like the black beeswax is a tad stickier than the original so in terms of scent you know the only thing that makes it better uh, the original better is the scent but the stickiness the shine and the overall performance I really prefer the black beeswax which I know a couple people don't agree on but I do prefer this one a bit more so I am about done here alrighty so final verdict on Murray's black beeswax it is definitely not a pomade you want to get for scent because it does not smell that great but the performance of it is very sticky and 
a well-balanced stickiness, so it's just a bit of stickiness with uh, it's still greasy and oily and has that in it. Also, it has that black stuff that gets on your hands, which isn't that great, but considering the price of this pomade and the original Murray's Beeswax, it is definitely worth a pickup. And out of all the Murray's line, it is one that I would actually prefer, maybe over like a Murray's Superior or something like that. So there you have it, Murray's Black Beeswax.